Well, hi everybody. This is Angelo Quinones saying you reach I am Ministries. I am Ministries J J Jane to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holy and inspired word, the Bible. And I always ch chuckle. Well, not always, but sometimes I chuckle when I, I say is J Jane because I, I borrowed that from Star Trek, or I actually took it. You know, La you know, <laughs> that's a part of full taking though. It's recorded in uh, verse 7 of chapter 2 of, uh, of uh, Philippians, taking the form of a dulu or a slave. Having already subsisted or subsisting in the form of God, and that's recorded in the previous verse, verse 6 of chapter 2 of the same book of Philippians. But, you know, this, this, this does have to do with nature 1 and nature 2, but we'll, we'll check that out. All right, let's read this according to the Greek text, okay? All right, so let's get there. Verse 19 of uh, Petras or Petru, you know, um, Alpha, 1 Peter, okay, chapter 3, verse 19. We're going to look at the NASB because it's just one of the, these, you know, one of the dependable Bibles out there. I mean, the Watchtower Bible is not dependable. I want to check it out, though. I want to see what it says, though, if they change anything, and I'll let you know. Verse 19, chapter 3 of First Peter. Now, this is the um, uh, Psalm 16, verse 10 series. Overall, we're in the full Greek construction series where we look at every single verse, if God gives me life, that has to do with any discussion that has to do with JWs. Well, it says something like this. En ho kai, and that's pronounced K. I understand that, but this is this is biblical pronunciation, not modern pronunciation, okay? En ho kai tois en fulake. Uh, and it says over here, penu, uh, penumasi, uh, penumasi paruthes ekeruksen. Very key, right there. Ek ekeruksen. That means um, uh, he preached. It's in the aorist tense. The epsilon is telling me that. And there are other indications in the, uh, in the word that's telling me this is a completed action. Okay? Not that he will, but he did. Now, we have to see where he did the preaching, okay? Then it goes on to say in verse 20, just for free, it says over here, okay, ape thesasi, ape thesasi apate, hate, now this is a mouthful right here, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Ape xe de geta. And I know the Omicron is, all, is called Omicron nowadays, but who cares? Hey, <laughs> tu And it says, uh, Makrathu mia, Makrathu mia en gemerais. Noe, meaning in the days of Noah, okay? Uh, kata sku azam enes. And then it says, uh, Kibotu. And then uh, Ace Hain, it says over here, Ali Guy. Uh, then Tut, and that's a shortcut. Uh, tut Estin, Octo, and Psukai. And then it says right here, wait for a second. Uh, where's, where's the word soul at? Oh, uh, psukai, okay, die sothesan di hudatas. Okay, now, over here is saying that Jesus was very much alive, okay, at the time, uh, during the three days and three nights that his body was up on the planet surface of earth is that clear he didn't go to heaven he didn't remain in the dome his spirit vacated okay all right the body okay you understand what i'm saying vacated the body at the time of death his body died because the body without the soul is dead According to verse 26 of chapter 2 of James, what, die, what dies is the body, not the soul, not the skin, um, okay, not the soul. All right, now, uh, that'll be an accusative case, but anyway, I should have put it in a nominative. But you know what I mean. 
the soul remains alive. Okay? The spirit remains alive. Okay? And now it says over here, and hope. Now, we have to get rid of this notion that it was after the resurrection. <laughs> Anastasius. That he went to preach to these people in prison from the time of Noah. That doesn't make any sense. Okay? First of all, he returned back to his body after the uh, after the uh, uh, three days and three nights were up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As I stress the P in Greek. You understand what I'm saying? The P in English. Okay, you know what I mean? I mean, he, 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 listen. He returned back to his body. And after that, he was with the disciples. I mean, he went back to heaven. I understand that. That's the, that's the first ascension. Uh, people don't preach that too much but that's the first ascension the second ascension being recorded in praxis apostle on the acts of the apostles okay chapter one huh oh, wait for a second Okay, I, I just had to pause it because my wife was talking about, uh, she was saying Angelo and Tricycle and this and that. And we're in the Philippines. And then, so I was just asking, why did my name come up in Tricycle? Because I'm, I'm, my knee is very bad. Well, then, you know, uh, some people went to the beach and then maybe we'll go to the beach after, which is, which is absolutely essential for my knee now and my back to go to the beach. The water could do it very, very, could do wonders. <laughs> okay, you understand what I'm saying? So anyway, that's what was all. That's why I paused the uh, the message. In whole, now in whole, listen, listen. If this could be translated after, I don't see meta here. I don't see meta or meta. I don't see it. I didn't see any uh, uh, word for after here. That he went after, afterwards, afterwards. He listen. The after has to go after, no pun intended, his death, bodily death. Upon a cross. That's the only time that he had to preach to these souls. Remember, these are souls. He preached to the souls in prison. In prison. Now, there wasn't a prison up in, you know, Jerusalem someplace. You know, you know what I mean? There wasn't a, there wasn't a, 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 there wasn't a prison, okay, outside of the Jerusalem walls that Jesus went to, okay, after his resurrection. He didn't do that. He was teaching the disciples for 40 days, okay? <laughs> I put a Z in the days, but anyway, for 40 days. And then he went up, and that has to do with his second ascension. Because if he, if he said to uh, the woman, okay, you know, um, uh, Mary Magdalene, that I am ascending, that well, that's a present active indicative. That's not a future, uh, a future you know, a future... Um, uh, active, uh, indicative, or anything like that. Okay? There's no future tense there. That's a present tense. You understand what I mean? It's a, I will go. No, no. Even that would have been okay. I will go. Because it could have been right, just right after they finished talking. You know what I mean? That's a present active indicative. I, I you know, I am going. But listen, listen, let me get back to this. So the thing is that Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong when they teach, first of all, that the, the, the listen, that the, that the soul of Jesus was destroyed. It wasn't. It was very much alive, meaning his soul at the time, I mean, after, you know, uh, before his, his uh, three days and three nights in Sheol and during the three days and three nights in Sheol and after the three nights and three, uh, uh, after the three nights and three days, uh, three days and three nights in Sheol. Okay? His soul was always alive. It never died. What died was his body. His body lost all that blood and it died. It was a clinically dead body. Okay? Dead. Necron. Okay? Necros. Whatever you want to call it. Dead. It was dead. And the passage in James is absolutely essential. Well, let's look at it, though. Let's look at it. Let's go to James here, okay? I like this little uh, app, you know? <laughs> this is a delicious app. But let's go to, um, uh, actually, um, to uh, James, I should say. Okay? Okay? 
Yokabu. Oh, Yokabu. Yokabu. Let's go there. And it's uh, chapter 2. You see what I'm saying? And it's the last verse. Very easy to remember. Verse 26. Okay. Verse 26. It says over here. Okay. Um, Hosper gar ta soma. And then you have the, the Greek word for body there. Okay. S-O-M-A. That's the transliteration. I'm at the... Um, let me see. Okay. One, two, three... Fourth line down from the top. Okay, don't count the, the title of the book. You know, the Iota, Alpha, Kappa, Ellipsis, and then uh, a Beta. Nowadays called Vita. I'm not talking about that. Okay, I'm talking about the lines themselves. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh, where's the 26 at, though? Let me see. Where's the 26? Oh, it's right here. So, basically... You know, after the 26, just count down one. Below the 26, just count down one and two. Two lines below the 26, okay? And I'm all the way to the left where it says S, and it looks like a W after that. It's not a W. It's an O class, a uh, long O like in home. That's the omega, okay? Uh, and then you have uh, an M looking letter, a little bit like a U, but, it, you know, you could press it to be an M. And then you have the alpha. So... Three of the Greek letters here looks a little bit like the Greek, like the like the English, I should say. So, Hosper for it says over here, Gar, the body Ta Soma, and Ta is an, a, a singular a neuter uh, article. Okay, Soma. Okay, uh, chorus, um, uh, and that'd be a part, okay, a part, chorus. It looks like an X, but it's in CH, and then the omega looking, uh, 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 a W looking letter in Greek, which is, is not a W, it's an O, like I said before, and then a P looking letter, it's not a, it's not a, a P, it's a Hro, it's an, it's an R, equal to the, um, the resh in Hebrew or R in English. And then Iota, with a grab marker, so it's, you know, Chorus, not Chorus. Okay. And then you have the final sigma that looks like an S, thank God. Apart from what? From, okay, Panu Matas. And that's actually in the um, genitive case construction. Because you have the Omicron and the Sigma, which is the case ending, you knock that all out, and then you have the the nominative, basically uh, the 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 stem of the of the word. Okay, uh, penumat. Okay, so that's just it. Now, um, necron, necron or necron, spelled out. It looks like a V, but it's not a V. It's an N. Epsilon kappa rho. It looks like a P, but it's not. Like I said before, it's an R in Greek. Hro. Don't say Hro. Say Hro. Amicron. <laughs> and then the uh, V-looking letter again, which is not a V, is an N. And I, I chuckle because, you know, if you ever saw Get Smart, let me just let me just give it a little humor now. Now, uh, listen. If you ever saw Get Smart, the secret agent show, uh, it's like 007, basically. But it's just a comedy. You understand what I'm saying? In the 1960s. I'm not talking about the recent movie, you know, several years ago. But I'm talking about around 1965, 1966. It had five seasons. It was very successful, except for season five, you know, which is just they were married and, you know, 99 and and uh, and uh, uh, Maxwell Smart. That's, that's the kill the show. And then they have the babies and everything like that, the twins. I mean, you know, come on, man. But so they should have just stayed with the espionage and stuff like that and the gadgets and other. But, you know, who, who wants to, you know, you know what I mean? Look at, like, it doesn't make any sense. How can you be a secret agent with twins? It's never going to work. It's never going to work. How are you going to be a secret agent married anyway? <laughs> okay. And how are you going to be a secret agent looking like a secret agent? That's not going to do it. Usually a secret agent looks like a, just like a, you know, old, you know, gentleman, you know, 70 years old or 60, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Very unsuspecting, but, you know, easy shows. So in one of the shows, there was the claw. 
you know, a Chinese dude with a kung fu outfit and a metal claw, <laughs> a metal hand. So he kidnapped 99 and Maxwell Smart. And he said, uh, Mr. Smart, have you ever heard of my bamboo torture? And then uh, Smart says, bamboo torture? And then uh, the claw says, yeah, bamboo torture. And then, uh, you know, we put uh, bamboo under your fingernail. That's pain and torture. And after that, death. And Maxwell Smart said, uh, pain I couldn't endure. Torture I'm not too crazy about. But the thing is that when, um, you know, he introduced himself to Maxwell Smart, I am the ha. And then Maxwell Smart said, claw. And then, you know, uh, the chaos agent said, not claw, ha. So he didn't want to be called the claw. It was actually a claw that he had for a hand. You know what I'm saying? Copying it from Dr. No. I mean, come on, you know, it's just, it's, it's, he had no hands. So that's just the deal. So that was a copycat. I mean, you know, you know the claw, uh, you know, it's from Dr. No. Guys crying out loud, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, Nehran, or Nehran. Okay. Don't, don't say, uh, don't say Ro, say Ro. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That's just a deal. So, just like the body is dead without Chores, okay, without, okay, okay, without Chores, the spirit, Bonumatas, okay, is dead. Nechran is Esten, okay. Huto, so, and uh, says, and uh, so. Okay, it says over here, the faith, uh, hey, uh, pistes, um, without, chores, okay, ton, and that's in the genitive plural, okay, ergon, uh, so works, that's in the plural, uh, nechra, okay, dead, is, este, okay? Well, over here, it clearly says that the body dies when it's apart from the spirit. Meaning when the, when the, when the spirit makes an exodus, and you see that recorded, okay, in uh, Hebrews chapter 11, right? And you see that recorded, um, that uh, they were talking about the exodus, right? And that's, I believe that's in around chapter 9 of Luke. That Moses, Elijah, and Jesus was talking about his exodus. And that's the Greek word, exodus. You know, he's talking about his exodus. Well, that is just exits the body. The soul, it's not destroyed. It just exits the body. And that's what happened, okay, um, to Jesus, that his spirit vacated the body or was poured out. Okay, well, just because it was poured out, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 12, it doesn't mean it was destroyed. Let's look at these passages. Now, let's go to the English text, okay? You understand what I mean? We have to check this out. Let's go to um, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 12, and Genesis chapter 24, verse 20, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You understand what I mean? So let's get there. Isaiah 53, prophetic passage about the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the deal. Okay. Isaiah 53. It says over here, therefore, I will a lot, okay, him a portion. With the great, and he will. I mean, you got future tenses all over here. I bet you in the Greek Septuagint, you know, Psi or Kasi or whatever the case, I gotta look at it or Sigma, or whatever, or liquid futures. I don't know, I gotta look at it. He will divide, okay, the uh, booty uh, with the strong because he poured out himself to death. And was numbered with the transgressors. Okay. Yet he himself. Okay. Bore the sin of many. And. Okay. Interceded. 
for the transgressors. First of all, how can he intercede if his soul was already dead? How can he intercede? And, and you see that, that he's uh, interceding at the right hand of God for the saints. Well, how can he do that if the soul was dead? Oh, but he's Michael again. Where does it say that Jesus became Michael? Where? Where? Well, I don't see it in John 1, 1, A, B, or C. It says, in halagas, kai halagas, in prastante, an kaiteas, in halagas. Or, if you want it in the modern way, in archi in ologos. Que ologos in prastante, an keteos in ologos. Or, if you want it in Hebrew, you JWs, if you're not satisfied with that. Bereshit haya hadabar, wahadabar haya im ha Elohim, ba Elohim, wa Elohim, but it really doesn't make a difference to me. Haya hadabar. Okay? Is that clear? Does it say Michael anywhere there in Hebrew or in the Greek New Testament of John 1 1? Okay? A, B, or C, all across the board. Okay? They're making stuff up. They have to make stuff up because it doesn't, it doesn't jive. The Bible with their, you know, wanting Jesus to be dead, so they have to make a new Bible, the disgusting translation called the New World. Of course, the New World Order, there you go. Satan's world, the God of this age, Hate Us, and then you have a genitive attached to that Hate Us, the God, yeah, but of this age. You understand what I'm saying? See? There's no genitive attached to Jesus anywhere like that in the Bible. Okay, he's not the God of whatever. You see, the God of war, the God of, you know, it's not like that. Now, I, but it says pour, that he poured out. P-O-U-R-E-D. He poured out uh, himself. Well, it says himself there, but it does say that he poured out his soul. Now, let's look at the Hebrew there in Isaiah 53, verse 12. Let's, 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 let's look at the Hebrew. Okay, all right. Let's check this out. That's the Greek Septuagint, a copy of it anyway. And let's go to, um, yeah. Get ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you give me like five minutes? Yeah, of course. Okay, honey, Mola. Well, let's look at, let's look at, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at, um, Isaiah. Okay. Let me try to get there. Isaiah, where's the thing? Isaiah, let's show this. Isaiah. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. Ha, 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 ha. Isaiah 1. Isaiah 57, okay, Isaiah 53, okay, Isaiah 53, 53, let me see here, so, 12, So it says over here, it says over here, uh, for he, it says who, and, and that means he in Hebrew, okay, uh, he, and then you have the vav with the, with the U class right beside it, the double, right beside it in the silent uh, uh, aleph, okay, shall bear, okay, and then it says, therefore, divide, I will, to with the great, okay, and with, I'm trying to get the word ara here, the strong, divide shall he, it says spoil the spoil upon that, and then it says over here, they could, they could go before me, hon, they could go before me, poured out, it says has, he has poured out, now th this is the thing. Okay, pour, this is the thing. The word for pour over here is ara. And over here you got the ayin, okay? And then you have the resh, and then you have the he. Well, if you, you look at that, that's ara, actually, in, in the Hebrew. So ara, a verb. Now the same, I'm almost finished, showing. Okay, now the same word ara appears for Rebecca pouring out the water from the, from the, from the, uh, from the, uh, pouring the water from the bucket. Let's see over here, Genesis. Genesis, Genesis 24. 
Genesis 24 over here. Genesis 24. We disappeared. Let's get it in English then. I'm gonna have to. Well, how many minutes are you gonna uh, go, hon? How many minutes are you gonna go? Now? Oh my god. Well, let them go first, hon. Let them, us be last. Hon. Let them go first. All together? How? No. So let them. Who? You, Tantan, Ah. Where's the baby at? With mama and papa. Oh, to the beach? Yeah. Oh, okay. So anyway, it says over here, So she, meaning Rebecca, quickly emptied, that's the word ara, emptied her jar into the trough, meaning into the, the, the where the camels are going to drink from, and okay, ran back uh, to the well, to draw, and you know the deal. But the, the word empty here is ara in the Hebrew. Okay, so let's check it out, and let's just finish, because I have to go, unfortunately. So let me, let me, um, hon, you have the, the bathing suit of mine? You see it someplace, hon? You know, the, 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 Okay, so let's see over here, chapter 9, chapter. Uh, this is not gonna, it's not, I don't, it's not gonna work like that because I'm rushing. I don't like to rush. Let me stop.